conducted a study looking at patients over the course of two years who uh, were hospitalized for serious respiratory illness. Um, and we looked at um, factors uh, for serious outcomes, which included ICU admission or death. Um, and we wanted to understand the risk factors associated with that. And overall, what we found was that the risk factors were having four or more uh, 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 underlying medical conditions, whether you were in the vaccinated group or the unvaccinated group. Um, so what we found was that having multiple medical conditions um, was a factor. The sicker an individual is, and it's not surprising, the more illness an individual has, the harder it is for their body to fight off infection. That's what we uh, would conclude from this. Um, so the more comorbidities, the more severe the outcomes. Um, the good news is over the course of the study, and we studied through, um, I believe it was March of 2023. Um, so we studied through the Delta period, but the good news is, is that these um, critical outcomes actually decreased over time, telling us, you know, that could be for, a variety of reasons, um, including, of course, we have more, more folks vaccinated, the virus could have changed and evolved to be less severe, our ability to treat the, the condition improved, we had new medications, monoclonal antibodies. So we found that overall, the um, critical outcomes decreased. The risk factors, including four or more underlying medical conditions, remained about the same throughout the study. Um, uh, and those were really our primary findings from, uh, from this work. I think this uh, continues to bolster the fact that we need to, obviously we need to treat every case of COVID-19 seriously. Um, I think there needs to be some special attention given to those individuals with multiple comorbidities, particularly those with four or more, to make sure that they're receiving appropriate treatment. If um, you know, if uh, various, making sure that patients are up to date on their vaccines. Um, it is you know the fall season now, and uh, we have new. Uh, COVID vaccines uh, coming out. And so I would encourage people if we need to prioritize the vaccine, just as we did actually during the pandemic, those with more comorbidities with serious illness, uh, we should consider vaccinating first um, and paying close attention to um, you know, management of these individuals throughout the course of their, uh, in, uh, th throughout the course of the disease.